Welcome to the Walton Pi. Today we are going to be talking about different types of functions. To start off, let's establish some basic terminology about functions. So a function is a special type of relation from A to B where every element in the original set A maps to exactly one element in B. Um, in this situation, A is going to be called the domain of the function and B is the codomain. So a function is a relation where every element in our, in our set A only maps to one element. There's not two pairs in the relation that both have the first coordinate being A. So our first type of function that we are going to be talking about are what are called injective functions, which are sometimes called one-to-one -one functions. So a function is injective if any time f of a equals f of b, then a is equal to b. This is sort of the opposite of what it means for something to be a function, because that says if a equals b, then f of a is equal to f of b. So if we're looking to see if a function is injective, one way we can think about this is thinking if it passes what sometimes people call the horizontal line test. So that is where you take any horizontal line and you ask yourself, does any line intersect this more than one time? If any line intersects the graph more than once, it is not going to be injective. Because here, in this diagram, we have three different points that all have the same output from the function. So this would not be injective, because just having the same output does not guarantee that we had the same input. If we look at this graph of a function, this one, if we then go through and plot a horizontal line, no matter where we put that line, it is always going to intersect the graph exactly one time. So this is going to be injective, because having the same output implies that we have the same input. A second type of function is what's called a surjective function, sometimes called onto. So a function is surjective if for any b in the codomain, there exists some a in the domain where f of a equals b, meaning that no matter what I pick in my um, set b, there's always something that will map to it. So we can think of this as being no matter what horizontal line you put down, it will intersect the graph at least one time. So here, no matter where we stick our line, it is going to intersect the graph at least once. And so that means that this is going to be a surjective function, because for any possible output, there is always an input that will give us that value. So this graph is going to be surjective. This graph, however, is not surjective, because we can draw a horizontal line that does not intersect the graph. So this is not surjective. There are some, there are some values in our codomain that are never mapped to by our function. The last type of function we're going to talk about are what are called bijective functions. These are functions that are both injective and surjective. So if we graph a function, that means a function is bijective if every horizontal line intersects the graph exactly once. The injective part says that it's going to intersect exactly once, meaning it doesn't intersect more than one time. And the surjective is the part where it says it intersects the graph. We are guaranteed that it intersects somewhere. So this function is going to be bijective because no matter where we put the line, it will intersect the graph at least once and also never more than once. So it's going to be bijective. This function is not bijective because it's not injective. It may be surjective, but it is not injective, so it cannot be bijective. And then this graph is not going to be bijective because this is not surjective. There are values that the function does not attain. Thank you for watching my video on functions. If you would like to see some other videos, please check them out. And please like and subscribe. It helps me out quite a bit. And if it was helpful, please share with some friends. Um, good luck with all of your math and have a great day.